welcome back to my channel uh, today i wanted to talk just a little quick a uh, little update how our homeschool uh, going uh the past week to be honest i had a lack of interest to do anything because i had tons of work and um and um the kids not really sleeping i don't know what's happening uh, maybe a moon stars or I don't know what uh, planet is moving uh, and how but um, They're just not sleeping. I mean obviously Ethan probably teething so he's up so much and he wanna nurse all night long which I Obviously I want to sleep so I don't want that and also um, The thunders are just always thirsty or peeing or just coming to our bed. So it's like it's like the whole circus overnight so it's it's exhausting sometimes so like last week i took it to very low with homeschooling uh the kids are going to learning pod on tuesday and thursday so um other than that we're not doing on those days uh, serious learning of course we're reading books we're singing we are dancing a little bit we're talking what happened in a school what letters they learned what was the subject we talk about a little more but other than that i'm not uh, doing anything other than if they they want when we come home sometimes they ask oh we want to do a worksheet and i give them one of the blinder uh let me know down below if you want to see uh what blinders i have for the toddlers i'm gonna prepare new of them because uh, they just uh, getting bored of these so i'm just gonna mix it up a little bit the pages and then the blinders and the subjects so um i'm gonna do that and if you guys are interested i'm happy to share that so last week was really simple i tried to just give the toddlers um, exercises like worksheets and stuff like that what they were able to do themselves and uh, of course they always have questions so that's what it's homeschooling uh, about and so many of uh, the mom asking me oh my god how can you sit um a certain amount of time with them I'm like no i'm not sitting with them all the time we talk i mean especially at that age and and actually as i learned later on as well you have the subject when you sit in and of course explain and then practice with them but then you have to let them uh, uh, do certain things by themselves and then you just monitor it so i'm of course i never leave them alone but at least sometimes when they are doing a longer project or something like that or a craft or something i show them what to do and then they do it themselves so it's like gives me like the 15 minutes so i can get some work done or just peel the potato or something like that so i'm just sneaking things between because honestly i just so bad with the schedule right now i have to sit down and i have to force myself to the schedule because i believe it's all about schedule and i never lived with schedule so i'm very bad with schedules um but i would uh, really need i started to do and that's that's give me a little uh, hub this week that we do the grocery uh on sunday actually i ordered uh, from instacart and we do some uh, meal prep like cutting onions uh, prepping up meats and stuff like that because honestly for me working homeschooling uh, keeping the house clean and cooking is impossible and i can't make this uh, bar so high for myself because then i'm gonna be exhausted i'm gonna be disappointed and i'm gonna lose the interest doing it so that's uh, that's a serious things for me i don't know about you or any of you but this is this is for me so i have to make things easier for myself in other um situations so i can be 100 percent at my work making videos that's why i didn't make video the past two weeks because i just couldn't get there to sit here and without the kids ethan is having snack in the high chair right now so i have a lot of time uh, to film this and then during the day I'm gonna edit it and upload it for you guys. So anyways um, It feels like I just skipped the intro because the intro become the whole video. So anyway, just uh, About the schedule as I said we're doing and we started doing so it's not like I, I can't be too smart about that because we, I'm just really testing out that uh, doing ordering grocery because the grocery shopping is the huge part of my life. I hate grocery i love grocery shopping but i hate grocery shopping because it takes so much time for me especially in new jersey i mean you just drive forever 
to get to the grocery store. So anyway, um, um, what I wanted to say. Oh yeah. Uh, so I'm starting to doing like meal preps. It's not hundred percent because I have to get Gabe on the board as well, and he's busy like always. So it's hard to manage because I need him to watch the kids or I have maybe the meal prep. Either way, I can't. You know, I can't be two places. So um, I have to do that. And I believe that would be help me during the week. And if we just did a little, uh, we didn't prep all the meat and we didn't do that much, but I did a little bit. I wanted to make, you know, like the breakfast, like like uh, baking the pancakes. Uh, so I just need to reheat it. And then it's gonna be easier for the kids uh, before we leave into the learning But because that's from nine, but it's like good. 30 minutes from here so I have to leave so early I have to leave at least 8 10 um, and getting ready three kids and myself I mean I'm usually not getting ready like I just dress up brush teeth and uh, prep some um, croissant sometimes they want croissant sandwich so I put some ham and cheese in there and they eat it in the car I know it's not the best uh, mom hack ever but uh, if I wake them earlier, then they're gonna be cranky all day. So I have to let them sleep at least seven and then get them dressed and uh, stuff like that. So this is works for us. They eat in on the way there. This, this is a 30 minute drive, so they can eat the, the croissant sandwich over uh, during the, the way to the learning part. And then I'm running home and I film or I even answer emails because I have a little bit of time but um then i'm gonna head back in a second and grab the kids and we're going with the day so that's what i'm seeing and usually we're having a play date after that or we have to go to gabe's uh, shop because the kids love the game uh, the workshop so they love being around the, the guys they watching them how they build cabinets how what they're doing they watching their fathers handling business so i really love it because that's kind of also a good uh, uh, example for them how his life works that how that is working how everything is works out so and they ride the bike in um in a shop so it's it's cute it's nice they love we spend an hour there and that's that's perfect for them and then we're heading home but this is like a 45 uh, 50 minutes it depends on the traffic drive home so by the time i'm get home it's almost 4 p.m and honestly i didn't get any serious job done i didn't do anything so i usually uh, read a book for them so I spend a little time with them and then I put them on a, on a self uh, subject so they can even play themselves Benny loves playing with cars so he can be entertained by himself or I can put a movie on it's good because I'm not seeing screen time is bad or good but my kids not sitting in front of the TV even if we have a movie on it's like it's on but they they playing they running around so it's like not they like stuck in the tv you know what i mean so it's i i like that so i don't mind if they have a little background noise sometimes even if a coco melon or it's a movie now we have the pop from movie like it's infinity like it's it's insane they even know the lines like they even play the movie right now so anyways um and I can get some um, emails. I wonder what I missed, you know, during the, that one and a half hour in the morning what I had by myself. I mean, with Ethan, but Ethan usually having breakfast that time. So it's, it's I, I, I can do things like now I'm having this uh, video. So anyways, um, this is how my days, our days actually on when we have a learning pod. So that means I don't have too much time to cook or clean. So I have to keep it easy. And the days when we are home, it's usually more homeschooling. So uh, when Ethan is sleeping around uh, noon, the thunders is not sleeping anymore. So that means I can sit down with them. I can give them in the morning after breakfast because they are always wanna do something. So I can give them like painting or do some craft why I clean up the table, clean up the breakfast and um, and change Ethan and then we get ready for uh, for a walk because we put Boza for a walk and Ethan goes to sleep. And uh, and then I can sit down with them and do some uh, worksheets, reading more books, talk about things. They I have so much question right now, which is so cute. I never thought that the four years old and three years old have 
these kind of uh, questions so um and uh, and then the rest of the day is usually same like uh, after it turns wakes up we're having lunch and or we're gonna we, we, we bring uh, lunch and eat at the um, shop uh, with daddy so it is depends on the day and having a play date uh, in a park until it's nice out because i really like to use all the little time and treasure all this sunny it's chilly but sunny days so we can be in a park we can be outside and um and again when we got home it's 4 p.m and um ready for like the, the nighttime routine which is like you know preparing dinner eating a dinner bath uh pajamas and then brush teeth and go to sleep so uh, the kids usually go to sleep at eight i was always say that eight but it's it's usually between eight and nine so um it depends it depends because uh gabe is usually put the toddlers to sleep if he's not gonna get home i have to put them to sleep but that's a different thing because then i have to put Ethan first sleep the kids can watch the tv outside being quiet and then I come to them and uh, put them to sleep. But usually we wait for uh, Gabe to get home, uh, have dinner, and then uh, go to sleep. And uh, if it, it depends because sometimes if he's late a little bit, so so we can wait for it. It can switch the bedtime uh, schedule. So I hope you guys get a little bit of idea how we manage our days with the homeschooling to toddlers like. Um, Emma is uh, kindergarten age and Bennett is the pre-k3 so uh, let me know if you guys interested to see what we're learning on these hours when we're doing the worksheets and stuff like that I have to share that one as well how our little uh, more like days but I don't want to bore you guys like with our general day but only just the cutting up the homeschool part and what we're doing uh, and when we're doing it and um just leave me in a comment and i'm happy to film that one as well um if you wanna see us uh, like in a daily uh, basis just follow my instagram i'm always active there you can see the stories what we're doing how we're doing i'm sharing the worksheets over the, uh, the stories usually like what they did how they did that's so cute and um just follow us there as well and I have a TikTok, but I'm not really active on TikTok, so. But you can follow up there too. I'm gonna link all this below. And um, what did you just get so comfy over there? Laying down on the sun, and Ethan has lost his patience. So I think it's time to go pick up the toddlers. Uh, have a great day, guys. Love you all. 